Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nintendo Gamer, and welcome to my next main Let's Play of Jack 2. Yes, guys, we're continuing the Jack and Daxter trilogy. Yeah, yeah, it's a trilogy. The fans actually don't count. We have a fourth Jack and Daxter game, but it's so bad the fans don't even count it. But anyway, guys, we're going to continue in with the next Jack and Daxter game, probably called Jack 2. Another game from my childhood and another amazing PS2 game. Oh, there's no save data on this cartridge. So anyway, guys, we're going to create some save data, and we're going to jump into the world of Jack 2. And just seeing the title menu is a big change from the world of Jack and Daxter. So this is all going to be explained very soon. And I'm really excited to let's play this guy's because I actually really don't understand the Jack and Daxter storyline. And replaying the games is a way for me to re-understand, relearn the story. Yeah. But anyway, guys, cutscene. So let's get back in. For every age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Daxter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. Wow, look at that. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. Yeah! What are those things? So this is how it happened. You cannot hide! Do something, Jack! What's this do? Or, or that? How about this one? Everybody press all the buttons! What was that thing? Hang on, everyone! Okay, I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap! There he is. Move in. Step away from the animal. <laughs> Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. Changed. Well, nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures! Move forward with a final plan, and finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding ding! Third floor! 
Body chains, roach food, torture devices. Hey, buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Whoa! What'd they do to you? Jack, it's me, Daxter. That's a fine hello. I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you. I've been looking for you for two years. Say something, just this once. I'm gonna kill Praxis. Shh. Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Just let me figure out how to open the security locks for your chair so I can... Uh, you can do it. Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Daxter? What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. I uh, brought you some new thread. Put them on. And with that, guys, we are thrown into the world of Jack 2. So we got the little PS2 memory card telling us when we're saving. And as you can see, there are a lot of big changes to this game, to the game, already. The first main one you can tell is Jack is talking now. Yeah, apparently the dark eco has given Jack the ability to talk. And also, do you have your all? You have all your standard moves from uh, Jack One. You've got like the ground pound. You've got your punch. You've got your spin kick. You got your uh, roll. Wait, oh, is it different in this game? Is it not R One? It's a different button now. No. Oh, it's um, L One now. Restricted L One. Yeah, you got your roll jump. Yeah, everything is back here. So you're pl still playing with the same Jack, but he talks. He, he can talk now. And also, you can also, oh god, you can also tell there's a complete audience shift, I'll just call it that, from da I know Daxter said crap, but there's actually a bit of cursing in this game, I think a uh, damn and shit is in this game, and I can remember distinctively getting this game for my birthday, and saying, mom, what is shit and damn, and she'd be like, why are you eating it? I'd be like, Jack 2, Jack said it. And she's like, what? She's like, you show me this game right now. She's like, oh god, I got, oh, how could I have gotten this for you and not noticed? So my mom has a very love-hate relationship with the sequels. She loves the first game, but she has a very love-hate relationship with the second game and third game. Because of, no, because, because of the cursing and the complete shift. But I mean, it doesn't change it for me. And like I said, it has a very precise, uh, precise, has a very, uh, very concise story to it that I need to remember. Do you remember where that precursor is? That no. And also, you may have noticed I picked up a precursor egg. They work completely differently in this game. Precursor eggs are not even a thing anymore. Well, they're a thing, but they're basically just used to see if I can actually show this off. They're basically just used, I think it's this one, yeah, they're basically used for like easter eggs and stuff, and uh, extra modes, like Toggle Jack's goatee on and off, Mirror World, Big Head Mode, Small Head Mode, Scrapbook, and Hero Mode, What's hero depending mode? on how many precursor eggs. So they're basically like, hitting goodies, and not like Power Stars a la Mario, but they kind of act like as, ooh, you get so many, you can like change up the game a little bit. What's the question mark? Can you buy those? No, those, I just, just explain that, Jacob. Anyway, let's just continue on. But anyway, right now, getting out of prison, I don't think, oh yeah, there's something over there. I bet there's nothing over there. Do your stuff. But like, the, 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 the talk in this game is still amazing. And here's the high jump. Gosh, there is so much of, of Crash Bandicoot you can tell in this game, hence the spin attack. I've been playing a lot more Crash Bandicoot. Those guys are Crimson Guard. Uh, if I remember correctly, like we just saw, they take two hits to kill. And they're made of Dark Eco. No, they're not. They just are hard to kill. You have to kill them quickly because they will shoot you. Also, out of these crates, we're getting health pickups and we're actually picking up Dark Eco. As we saw in the opening cutscene, guys, Jack has been pumped full of Dark Eco. Somehow, like I said, it's given him the ability to talk. 
Um, we can't do anything right now with the Dark Eco. We can just pick it up. But as you can see, it will do something for us later when we have enough. And sometimes certain enemies will drop Dark Eco. Anyway, oh gosh. Fun fact, if you don't keep moving, Jack can't actually get shot. I think. Because the bullets are going through the grill. Anyway. Like I said, we're trying to make it out of prison right now. Hey guys! <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to be playing this game. I was really hesitant because it is much longer than Jack 1 story-wise. The story, the story is so much more bigger and more fleshed out than Jack 1. Like, I was so surprised at how quickly we finished Jack 1. But, uh, so this is gonna probably go into, like, March. Maybe the end of March, guys. Also, I'm not gonna be getting all the precursor eggs. I'm only picking up the ones I remember from the jail here. But anyway, with that, guys, we're out of the prison. We're free! Oh, pfft. Couldn't have said it any better, my friend, Daxter. Yeah, this roll jump is going to be your fastest way of transportation, but we got a cutscene. Hello, strangers. My name is Kor. May I help you? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. He's new to the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I, I'd move on, if I were you. By order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis, everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die. Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. And now we have a mandatory fight with the Crimson Guard. And here, guys, we're introduced to a really amazing mechanic, Dark Jack. Now, the game is literally just giving it to us for this battle here, but I might as well just explain it. You'll be able to use Jack, Dark Jack, whenever you want after this. When you uh, when you absorb enough Dark Eco, you can hit a button. When you that the purple meter there, when you fill up that whoops, I'm not gonna pause. When you fill up that purple meter, oh, cussing. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Very impressive. Uh, you okay, Jack? What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Thank you for your help, but I must get this boy to safety. Hey! What about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. Babe, yeah, what I was trying to explain, though, guys, is once we have that meter filled up, we can turn it to Dark Jack. There we go. The so once the purple meter is filled up, right. this area <sighs> is Leave me alone. <laughs> no, but once that meter is filled up. Come on. Once that meter is filled up, we can turn into Dark Jack. And also, the green squares indicate our health. Thank the precursors. We, you have so much more health in this game. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units of health in this game. Eight is such a huge difference How many do you have from you? three. You last longer. Now, also, neat thing, enemies do specific damage. Some enemies will take two hits from you. Some enemies will take three hits from you. Some will take one. Very specific on one type of enemy. And Jack 2 is what I like to call GTA Simulator. Welcome to the 
Because you can hijack vehicles from unsuspecting people and drive them. And just like in GTA, if you annoy the Crimson Guard, uh, just like cops, you'll go full on star mode like in GTA and they'll chase you down until you like hide from them. So like this was GTA before GTA. This is GTA for kids before they could play GTA. That's Funny enough. Just thought I would mention that. And plus GTA Vice City, my dad got that and said it was terrible. Well, he got oh, it for PS2. God. Yeah, and hijacking civilian vehicles comes with no consequence. So you could just be like, hey, I want this car and just take it. Anyway, I'm gonna hop out of the but car because you, uh, we're at our destination. Anyway. Yeah, so, so you can mess with the guards if you want. You don't get any reward for it, but I highly recommend not messing with them. Anyway, we got another cutscene here. We're looking for a guy named Torn. Of course, sent us. Um, are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for this city. You know, picking the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then, maybe we'll talk. Alright guys, with that, we're given our very first mission. If you hit triangle, you can redo that cutscene. I don't know if we can pull up the mini-map. No, you can't. But anyway guys, I'm actually going to end this very first episode off here. I feel like this is a good capping point. Anyway, I hope you guys are excited for Jack 2 as much as I am to record it. Another Let's Play in the Jack and Daxter franchise. So if you guys enjoyed this very first episode, thunderbolt that like button for me, comment, subscribe, and next time, we're going to be going to get to the Baron's flag from the Ruined Tower. See you guys then. Peace!